Hey guys, so welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. I have something fun to film today that I've been looking forward to doing for a little while now. I've got some new beauty bits to try out today. I know some of you guys are a bit worried that I was gonna stop doing beauty videos altogether, kind of going down the route of more style and fashion based videos. I'm still gonna do a good handful of beauty videos every so often. So today I have a full face to first impressions which are my favorite, favorite things to film. I like to sit down and just chat with you guys and try things on like I would do if I was just trying them myself for the first time so we're gonna do that and I have a brand that I'm using today that I'm very excited for so this month flower beauty have finally come to the UK I think they've been around for a little while now a couple of years and I've always been really interested in trying some bits out from them because they are a brand founded by Drew Barrymore. I am quite a bit of a fan of Drew Barrymore and um, long, long term subscribers will remember me doing some videos on her makeup looks years and years ago. And then last year, so quite recently, Glamour did a video with Drew Barrymore herself watching some YouTube tutorials on her makeup. And they featured me, which was pretty crazy. I had no idea they were gonna do it. I just started getting floods and floods of tweets and messages from you guys. So of all the things to happen to me here on my little YouTube journey. That was probably one of the most surreal things ever. Alex, I think you did such a beautiful job. Drew Barrymore said my name. Fangirled to the max. So aside from that today, I just wanted to kind of give these products a go, try them out, see if I like them. So the first thing I have to try is one of the things I'm actually most excited about. I think this looks really cool. It's the Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir. It's in this really shimmery, purple metallic galaxy looking color and i think this is gonna go on and just be super super glowy it says it's a wonder in a bottle revolutionary skin elixir that brightens smooths primes and hydrates all with a soft ethereal glow uh which sounds like my cup of tea for sure i think i'm just gonna use this quite sparingly to begin with and see what it's like looks quite thick to me it almost looks a bit like a serum oh it smells amazing it smells like lavender i'm actually gonna do it this way, I think. I'm gonna get the most product on my skin like that because it is sinking in quite quickly. This feels so nice. It definitely feels like skincare. It's um, kind of quite glidey and slippy. It almost feels slightly silicone-y, which I think is where the priming comes in, but it does feel incredibly hydrating and pretty much just like an oil. That's really nice. And I don't think it's transferred any of that glitter onto my skin. It just looks very, glowy and fresh and not purple like it was in the bottle. Uh, that feels really, really nice actually. That's a nice kind of priming step to use, especially if you have dry skin. I think oilier skins, this might be a bit too much, but I'm gonna see how it works underneath my foundation. So for that, I have the Light Illusion Foundation here. This is a luminous makeup nude skin feel all day wear broad spectrum SPF 18. That's a funny number. Foundation, so I have the shades, what do I have here? Porcelain L1 and Nude L3. I feel like I'm probably gonna be this shade. I think that's gonna suit my skin best at the moment because it is quite pale. We are in the middle of winter right now. So I'm just gonna try a little bit of that first to see. Oh, it's actually quite light. I think that's gonna be pretty much perfect actually. So I'm gonna pop this on with a big fluffy brush. This one's from Real Techniques. It's the 202 brush. I really like to buff foundations like this in, so getting a nice light layer on and really, really working into the skin. That's how I like to wear my base products most of the time. This is actually going on top of the oil really nicely. It's not um, separating, which I was kind of worried about sometimes. Having oil on or really heavy skincare can kind of disrupt your foundation, but I think these two are working together perfectly. It's actually coming up maybe a little bit darker now. I feel like it's oxidizing just slightly but the coverage is nice it's not too uh, heavy at all but I do have a little bit of uh, scarring left over here from some breakouts that I had earlier in the month and it's not completely covering them but it's definitely doing a good job of just smoothing them down and hiding them away I think that is actually really really nice it's glowy and fresh um, maybe could do with a little bit of powder but we'll use concealer first and then see other than that though the coverage is gorgeous I really like the color actually it's a good color and yeah the finish is just really really pretty so I am quite impressed by that foundation let's use some concealer I've got two shades again here I've got light and I've got fair the fair one which is here does actually look a little bit too pinky tone for me. So I'm gonna go on with the light. Now I've heard good things about this concealer. I actually really already like the little applicator. It's kind of quite long 
under slightly angled and this seems to be pretty pigmented too but also quite thin it's not feeling too thick and too heavy and concealer is a big deal for me guys I really feel like I am quite a picky person when it comes to concealers they are important I think having a good concealer is sometimes even more important than having a good foundation so this one is actually going in really nicely I'm using it with a beauty sponge which is my kind of go-to method of applying concealer just because I, I feel like it gets a nice even layer whereas a brush kind of pushes things around a little bit this concealer is actually coming up quite matte so it's almost mattifying out my skin in the places where I've put it. I'm gonna use it on my chin here and on these little friends that are still on my face. This has actually done a really, really good job of covering. It's pretty much got rid of all the redness and scarring that I had here. I had one here that I've just covered and it also is looking really nice under my eyes. It's definitely covered what it needed to cover and it looks a lot brighter and fresher under there. Almost like it has some kind of reflective pigment in it, some kind of brightening properties, which is amazing. I always love it when I can find a concealer that does both. So that's the skin. I'm actually, I'm impressed so far. I'm really liking the way this looks. It looks natural and yet it's still evened everything out that I wanted it to. So let's go on to some of these palettes. I have two here. One is a highlighting palette and one is a contouring palette although there is only one bronzer shade in here and the rest looks like a blush and a highlight. So this one I think is all powders. We've got a bronzer which looks like quite a nice light kind of neutral tone. Um, it has maybe a little bit of shimmer in it but I feel like that's not going to translate quite as much when it's on the face. The second colour here is a blush and this is a really gorgeous like bright candy pink and then the third color is a highlight this is a really gorgeous champagne gold kind of highlight um oh wow <laughs> that is intense it almost looks a little bit more pink now that i've swatched it on my hand i'm gonna try and see how this bronzer uh goes as far as just warming up my skin so i'm gonna use this in the usual places i haven't powdered my face so I wanted to see how well these blend just straight on top of the foundation. That actually is seamless. It hasn't caught in patches or clumps at all, which sometimes when you put powder products on top of cream can happen. That's gone on really smoothly, really nice. And it's a good bronzer color. I'm gonna be quite liberal here and just use this kind of to mattify my skin where I want it to be less shiny. So in the T-zone here, I always like to put a bronzer kind of down the top of my nose and then just sweep it here onto my cheek so you kind of get that like sun-kissed look going across there on my forehead as well i like to be quite liberal <laughs> with the bronzer just sort of into my hairline and then i'll take it along the jaw as well one thing oh, i am noticing is that these are quite powdery so as i was sticking my brush into that there was quite a lot of flaking and fallout on the palette which is maybe all over my rug now. A little bit messy um i don't know if you can see if i dip my brush in here just a little bit of this going on just a little bit of this pink blush i don't want to go too heavy-handed with it because it is quite a bright color but i think just a touch of this is going to be quite nice i feel like having that pink apple of the cheek is a, a very drew barrymore thing so i'm embracing that today so i do also have this second palette which is just a highlighting palette. I think this end shade here is probably the same as the shade inside this one. I thought this was cream to begin with, but I don't actually think it is. So we've got the first highlighter, the middle one is definitely more pinky toned, and then the third one is more kind of gold. They're all quite subtle. Let's see how this goes on. Ooh, that is quite a nice powder highlight. It's not chunky at all but it almost looks a little bit like a cream highlight. It's got that nice liquidy sort of look that's very intensely pigmented. Let's do some down my nose. I'm gonna layer a little bit of the gold one on top just because I want to see what it looks like. It doesn't even look that much of a gold. It just kind of looks like a nice warm highlight. So I think all three of these colors are actually really, really wearable. And uh, the formula of that is really nice. They're so glowy, look at that. They remind me a little bit of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Press Powders. This one actually could even be quite a close dupe to Champagne Pot, which is one of my favorites. I have to say, actually, I really like this palette. The bronzer is, is gorgeous and I do enjoy that pink shade as well, but the highlight for me 
wow, I think that is, is definitely a standout. So the last bits that I have to try are some lip colors. These are the Miracle Matte Lips and I have four shades of these ones. I've got Rosewood here, which is kind of like a dusky rosy pink. Bare Honey, which is a little bit paler, a bit more of a nude. Merlot Kiss, which is this gorgeous like wine magenta sort of color. And then this one here, which is amazing. This is Scarlet Letter. And I think this is the color that Drew is wearing on this giant poster, which I haven't actually shown you yet. This one here, which uh, I actually got sent with a few of the bits that I'm using today. So I've just swatched all of them. Please excuse my appalling swatchability. <laughs> They've actually come out a lot darker than I thought they were gonna be. So this one in particular, this is the Merlot. Uh, it's like a really gorgeous, deep, almost burgundy purple, but I think I wanna go for the red. I know I did a red in the last makeup video that I filmed, but I think because my skin is so simple, I've barely got anything on my eyes. I really wanna go for the red, and I feel like this is the most Drew color. So these actually feel like they're kind of more on the creamy liquid lipstick side. They don't feel like they're drying down really fast. They feel like they've got a bit more of a something to them. So I'm hoping that means they're gonna feel quite hydrating and quite nice to wear. Wow, <laughs> that is pigmented. Now that is a lip. I like that a lot. It's a really, really nice red. It's not super pillar box red, but it's not really blue tone either. It's kind of in the middle, which is a good color to be at, I think. It reminds me, actually, now that I'm looking in the mirror, a lot of Mac Ruby Woo. It feels still like it's got a bit of moisture to it, but I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Transfer test. There is a little bit that's just come off of my hand there. So that is the finished look with the products that I have here today. I'm actually really impressed with everything. There's nothing that I don't like. Love the skin primer. I feel like that's going to be something I'm picking up quite frequently and I'm kind of excited to try it with a few different foundations and base products and see how it looks. Really like the Light Illusion as a base. That seems to be just super even looking on my skin, really natural. And I haven't powdered it. It looks glowy, but not like it's overly oily at all, which is really cool. The concealer was amazing. I think I'll definitely be adding this into my routine for sure. And then the lipsticks, I definitely need to try out more of the shades, but this one I really like. These are actually all available in Superdrug at the moment, so they're really easy to get your hands on. They're drugstore prices, so really quite affordable. And I love the whole concept behind the brand, and obviously Drew being the ambassador just makes me like it even more. So guys, uh, let me know what you think, if you like this makeup look, if it's something you're gonna be trying yourself, and if you've managed to get your hands on any flower beauty bits. Tell me about them, tell me what you like, and if you're from the US as well and you've been using this for years and years. Tell me if there's anything that I also need to try if a few more of the bits make their way here. I am gonna say goodbye and I will see you all soon. Bye. Her lashes are everything. God, they're beautiful.